Hackers website. Mm -hmm. uh, it is designed to provide easy to navigate shopping experience for the customer and enable for the administrator to easily manage the website. And I build it using MVC, MVC architecture, which has the three main component as a model, views, and controller. The models are the tables, and uh, the views are the user interface. The controllers are the one which responds all the user interaction. So in code wise, I organize it like this. It have I create a folder area, so I put the controller and the views for different part for admin, the admin controller and the views, customer the same way and for identity. And I have a data tables, which is a model of the application, which hold many things, a category, subcategory, products. And uh, there is some service for email sender. And yeah, my website is, uh, my web apps is very responsive. It can accessible on any device, either desktop or a mobile application. So if we see it, the responsiveness is look like this in desktop. Yeah, especially look in the bottom part and the product, how it's layout here. And if we do in different device, let's check it. Uh, now it's in iPhone 12. In iPhone 12, it looks like this. The product and uh, its description, the price in the bottom. And as a footer hub, I use some uh, jQuery's to condense them. It's, it's very responsive. And each page have very smooth layouts. And we can see any device. We can check, let's see in Galaxy how it look. Look at this. And if we go the products, it's perfectly layout, I think. And in let's see in the bigger device like NetHub Max as a bigger one. Yeah. I check all the device actually to look uh, more. <laughs> It's very efficient surface pros. And let's see, okay. And uh, my website have uh, admin area, which admin has a user, uh, very user-friendly interface to manage product, categories, coupons, orders, and it can monitor the activity of the user. So it can manage the delivery or approving the uh, orders. And also, I implemented user authentication and authorization for security purpose, and uh, nobody can access except our admin to access some part of the implementation. And I use some external login. I implemented the external login like a Google login, so a user can have a flexibility can log in with the existing Google account. Uh, let's see in the action here. Let me make it a bigger screen. So in regular, it look like this. It's a home orders and registration those. And if we log in like a regular customer, I think uh, we can register, but I will, I can use external login for now. Google account. Let me log in with the Google. That's my Google account. If we check it as, as Gmail. So this is a regular user, so it doesn't have any other functionality except you can add a product or stuff. And if we access with the admin, we will see more features. As a by token Gmail is as admin. Let me log in. It have admin panel. You can add category, subcategory, product, coupons, and there is a way you can manage the product deliveries. And let's see how I implement the authorization. Uh, let's see if it's category. Let me use this uh, URL. This is admin. It can open the category and it can create uh, any categories here. Great. 
But let's see if somebody knows the URL and if try to access that part, how it's going to happen. Let me log in like a regular user and I'll try to access that part. If I go here, it shouldn't allow him. You say access denied. So this is the authorization. Uh, the authentication authorization is work perfectly here. Okay, and my pro uh, yeah my website provides uh, email sending so the user can get information about his or her uh, startup of order about confirmation shipment order detail those. It can inform like this the uh, email gonna the website gonna send auto. So I use a same grid API. Uh, we will see it, this one when I do some checkout in action. So or uh yeah, so the customer have uh, can do the add product and the checkout. So for security reason, I use the uh, API, uh, what is called Stripe uh, payment gateway, uh, gateway to for check uh, to transaction, which is very very secure. And uh, to initiate the customer, I give some coupons for some. Pro uh, it's actually for now I give the whole coupon for all products depend on uh, their purchase price. Uh, we can see this part. Let's let's do let's see how the user can uh, order and uh, get email notification. Let's see. Let me let's see. Let's check out something. Okay, let's check out this product. Uh, let's add it to the cart. Uh, it's asking. So let's user. Let's me log in with the Google account. No. Again with this, yeah, this one is I think uh, okay. So we can add to the cart. Now cards have one. So okay, we can we can uh, use uh, some of the coupon codes. So I know the mother days that have a mom day coupons. So we can add another coupons too, but for now let's use the mother day coupons. Uh, the coupon is not, uh, 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 it's not case sensitive. So if we say apply. Oh, this one, yeah, this one is the limit. So it have to be, 100 and more so let me add the product size so it is so above 100 okay now it's above 100 so let's uh, add let me remove it first and add it okay. is that applied or it's 156 all right, let's me do so originally 156 should add it. Uh, let's see. Um, the, yeah, it's it has thirty dollar uh, uh, discount. Let's go through the checkout. It shows the coupon code and uh, how much discount they get. So let's the user can add any instruction for drop off. It can update the their address in you know, when they check out. This one is out of it's come from the user registration. So in case they want to deliver a different place, they can update this. It's easy. And it gives them more instruction. So let's check it out. This No, it's it's gonna it's gonna direct us to thank you the uh, confirmation page. So this confirmation it should send to the user to the customer, so we can check with their email. Let me 
I know that's a by two up here. And uh, let me check my other Gmail. That I use by two up here or my Yahoo mail. Let me do, let me check. Sorry. Yeah, Yahoo mail, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a Yahoo mail. So let me go to. Let me go to the other website here. Yeah. Let me check. Yeah, it is, it didn't come. Yeah, I think it doesn't come through, or maybe I use a different. Let me check it. What is the user? Oh, that's a Gmail, right? Ravi Gmail. So that's the, my Gmail. Uh, sorry. So let me check in my Gmail. It should be here. Sometimes it goes in the spam. Huh? Uh, maybe it goes as a spam. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah check on the sponsor. Yeah, it's just working. It's I don't know what it's saying. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? Can you check the Yahoo mail? Uh, spam, you know what I mean? uh, no, it's not. I did it. Uh, I also remember you putting Yahoo account. Is that Yahoo? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yahoo account. Yeah, so. Yeah, let me say this uh spam is of a lot of bad uh, emails, so I want to open it here. Let me check it in my uh phone first. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the spam probably or yeah. If we can refresh the yeah, it was sending actually. I don't know, it's even in spam I didn't find it. Uh, it was sending because I uh, I know because I sent it with the other one. This I did it before. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's look like it's coming like this. It's coming from by top show the order and the order play successful. Okay, sorry. I think no, let's no me continue with the other stuff. Okay. No problem. I I, I yeah. actually understand, and I, you already showed yeah. me. You know, you already showed me. So, it's okay. totally fine. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, my website have uh, it have uh, it's helped the customer immediate customer support. I integrate a AI uh, system that's chatbot, and uh, I added some uh, search uh, buttons that uh, customer can search any product with using search button so let's see how it looks okay so this is the, the chat bot i added is uh is like a, any pro anything we can ask it there uh, or i put some custom search like a location a store or they can click those return policies or we can ask anything Anybody want to ask, tell me to ask anything? Okay, let's see which is the cheapest shoes or whatever. Let's see, let's ask him. Uh, uh, the cheapest. So can I ask that, what's, yeah. the, what's the weather today? Like this also? Oh, the weather, no, it's, it's no, I train it only the URL oh, inside my website. Yeah. So it's gonna help only the things in my website. Okay, then yeah. uh, how to get the coupon? Like oh, okay. Coupon, okay, let's ask him. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what is it? I'm sorry, but I don't have enough information to answer this, but please provide me. Uh, or, or Mother's Day coupon. Yeah, that one is in the picture. So I think 
that's a in oh, picture, picture yeah. yeah the coupon yeah i think it doesn't yeah. read because uh yeah yeah exactly because yeah. that is actually another algorithm for, yeah you know extracting the information from image yeah, yeah. yeah actually another okay yeah i but yeah i can understand we understand actually yeah what, yeah let's see the cheapest shoes if i ask him i should give us it doesn't go oh, okay it's, okay is it we have the several okay the cheapest one is 60 say for the sneaker right so if we see the shoes the cheapest one is this and they show all of them you see when it was all here yeah. it's it's working and the search one the search button we can't search any product here if we say shoes it comes with the name of the or the category or we can say okay adidas like adidas if we say adidas it's gonna give us only we have two adidas right the blue one not gonna come and it's gonna choose this uh yeah we can choose okay phones or if we say iphone s it's gonna give us iphones but if we say yeah the iphone comes but if we just say phones all the phones gonna come here like this yeah this I think is going to help the user, but I have a filter here too. You can filter by their category, but the user can search with the key too. Okay. Yeah, I add some additional supportive uh, page like uh, contact us, uh, refund, uh, and uh, the policies but still i'm i'm gonna add some more because i put a lot of stuff in the bottom but those we're gonna have depend on the business logics we can add those but for now there is status you can uh, the user can check their status order status like this or finding stores where it's find the store locations or like this what time open yeah. what else i have yeah i deployed the website uh in my windows hosting service that's uh, i get two months free so my website is accessible in this url i can click it let's open it is yeah it's like this it's open so it's live and i able to manage here my website and my database i use a uh, my sql uh, the same data bless me i think it's maybe log me out because it was been a while so let me log in okay let's Yeah, this is my database, so I have all the tables, so you can view them. Yeah. Oh, I don't have views, uh, sorry, I have to say this. So category coupons, all the tables are here. So you can see I have 18 products, so I can manage my database here. Okay. Uh, complete my, yeah I'm, I'm very proud what i achieved <laughs> yeah i think i meet all my proposed uh, project goals yes uh, i know it's, uh, there's some i get some hard times sometimes but i was able to solve them by searching i think i learned a lot of things <laughs> and uh what else i have yeah future development i know my website is not uh, perfect but i'm gonna improve it like at uh, the product they don't have uh, size some of them need size so 
I'm going to have to add, uh, I have to differentiate the product with their uh, different. So those, they should have size. Uh, I know that part, I'm going to improve it. And depending on the feedbacks, I can improve it in the future. Yeah, I think, thank you for <laughs> watching and listening. I think that's all. Yeah. And if you have any questions, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Nice work. Nice work. Um, you, you did awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you I appreciate it. Nice, great yeah. presentation. Um, yeah, I actually don't have any question because uh, yeah. the things that I was looking for, he actually uh, showed me. Yeah. And uh, so he, he did uh, within his 15 minutes, he actually take more than 15 minutes, but oh, uh, yeah. Rabbi actually showed me the, I mean, going back and forth the structure and everything. So I don't have any question, but um, I'm just wondering that if audience have any question. Yeah, you have any question? It work? No, that's pretty mm. impressive. The, no. the fact you were able to accomplish this in this time frame. That's, yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't have a question, but yeah. something came to mind that would help you, I think. Uh, I believe it's the there's an alt tag for images for yeah. HTML, which gives you a text description of the images. This would help with your chatbot um, training because it would have something that's more accessible to it. And it's also required for ADA compliance. So if you actually did go live, you need to put those in anyways, because there are people out there that look for that kind yeah. of thing and are kind of jerks about it. But um, just a just a thought. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thank you. That's so, maybe that's why it doesn't access the company. <laughs> yeah, because then you could just put yeah. in the in the alt description for yes. for the image that what it is. You're just describing it using text instead of relying yeah. on the image. And then the chatbot, the the trainer for that, the, the yeah. generator can pick that up and, and put it into the yeah. algorithm for training it. Okay. Yeah, I'll exactly. do that. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. I've never used chatbot. Oh, this is chat gpt oh that's cool yeah i've never used one. it <laughs> <laughs> nice. this one yeah, i train it yeah so all the url i give it yes, i think it's over here the source oh okay yeah really cool. URLs, yeah all the... <laughs> that is work after you host it yeah mm. uh, does that cost yeah. money no free i have only 30 chats a month that's only okay. I can ask thirty, but above that is the I have to charge that I have to install. Implementation controllers, database, model view, uh, classes, and um, other stuff. Acceptance testing. Most objectives are met, like the initial goal scope that I had. Like uh, all of it was. I'm gonna say most of it actually is met. Um, it serves purpose and it runs great. So. I'm going to illustrate just that now. Okay. So this is my application. So this is the uh, application. This is the home page. Um, in this home page, um, I have a little bit of a um just explaining what the website is about and then you can choose to learn more you know, or you can um one of the options here is the click here to donate which i've mentioned i use the stripe api and you can just uh i guess like that And then this is the back end. It says thank you for donating. And I can just go back to the home page uh, and it goes on. And also on the same page here, I want to mention the chat um, with us option here, the chat bot. Unfortunately, it, I did not use the AI um, as this is like a pay. I have not, I, I couldn't even create um, 
I was thinking to create like you know those responses, but I would have to pay, so I didn't. Really, I don't have that. Uh, I didn't uh, do that. But if I um, start using this uh, to serve a community, definitely I would have to do that. Um, let me see if it says anything. But this definitely registers back in a prof. Uh, Pro Profs uh, website, like you see all this information. If I log in, um, it tells me all the like the things some people that I'll be using. It 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 um it uh records everything that happens here. I can see on the other end. Okay, and um and there is about section here um that kind of shows more information about the community and these texts are not really like true to the website but it's just some prompt text and also in some other activities or like what uh, what the uh, uh, community activities and culture and just kind of teaches people more about like what we have here you can um, click to learn more about coffee at this point I don't really have uh, too much stuff in the other end you know um just coffee but if it requires definitely i can put more stuff there and then volunteer section um sorry i'm gonna turn these off um in the volunteer section i have um um just these things that com community would require um and services and this sort of things um Let's see, and this is the announcement page. Um, graduation is coming up, so the community is gonna host some type of uh, graduation celebration for students. And then like following that, there's gonna be summer camp for kids and stuff like that. And this includes that you can, and then I have some social uh, connect with us, uh, social media. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna go back to the top and go to the contact us page. Um, so here I can, I can, um, write my name and say um Zidin and then I'm gonna give my email you can say thank you for your work or something and I can uh, send it in um this is uh thank you for emailing us so this is this email is uh there inside of uh um, yeah, I'm gonna refresh this So yeah, this was the last thing. Thank you for your work. So this, you know, this back in the database. Um, I'm gonna go back again, and then I have uh, join us. Um, you can join the community by pretty much filling out this information. What this does is you can register, and then it's gonna email the whoever registers that you know uh, you have registered successfully and stuff like that. Um, this was done using SendGrid. Uh, in uh, um. API as well. I think it's Gmail. Okay. So I'm going to use my real email to prove that. Uh, let's see. Thank you. And let's go to my Gmail here. This is from, it says from Oromal Community. Uh, this is, uh, let's see. I think this is a spam, but it's really not a spam. Uh, looks safe. Okay, I see. It says, thank you for becoming a member of my community. So, like, it will send this out to the users who are um, uh, uh, registering for the community. Let's see what. Yeah. Yeah. And. That's the usability, and I think it did meet my expectation from my proposal, my initial proposal. Um, but there is some things for sure I want to add. So, like, uh, if I go be go here, um, so areas improvement. Um, I wanted to add the calendar, and that could be um, filled, and like that could be edited 
uh, or added by the admin. So hopefully I'm gonna have, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'm gonna have an admin login as well. They can do that. And I want news feed as well. And some little bit of maybe interface improvement and then hopefully uh, post this for, uh, um, you know, for people to use in the future. And I think that's the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you for your participation. Have a nice summer. There aren't any gifts, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> awesome. Good. Good job. Good job. Just love it. Love it. Um, so uh, if you go to the um, oh. slide number eight, please. Yeah. Slide number eight. Yeah. And uh, so what, what, what do you mean by uh, adding colander? Uh, yeah, so I, um, I had this uh, idea to add like a, um, a section where admin can uh, post, you know, coming event instead of having to actually put it in HTML, you know, for any events. So if so, like, uh, pretty much like crowd operation to add. Oh, so it's uh, like news and events, like uh, oh, yeah. calendar. Uh -huh. Yeah, calendar. Oh, I'm sorry, it was misspelled. <laughs> okay, oh, no, no, that no, really okay. that. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, uh, uh, that. So L uh, L E N D, probably yeah. L E. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. I understand. I I just yeah. I just thinking that uh, what is that? I mean, it's like yeah, sure, yeah. Now I understand so that, that it's is... actually news and events. Uh, that yeah. is upcoming news and events will be there, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. so hopefully yeah. on his website, you know, like can, like to become more, you know, like uh, attracting more users, like you want to update like uh, um, constant things about the community, some events that's going on, people can just go to the calendar and look at it and say, okay, this time there is this going on, maybe I want to be exactly, here. Exactly, exactly. Maybe by clicking it. on that event today, they can maybe register for the event, you know, mm -hmm. those kind of things. Exactly, yeah. That is actually, I mean, uh, I'm, to be honest, the first, last time I see you, the you know the design and everything is much much better, and now it is, looks very nice. Okay, to be honest, Kamal, uh, I appreciate your hard work that you put here. Very nice, uh, you know the design and everything, and I love the idea that you know your chatbot is looks good, and uh, yeah. yeah, I mean I first of all I promise a lot of things to you that I will be helping you to buy some subscription and everything, but I could not yeah. able to do that. Uh, all you did by own, um, I mean, yourself, like Ravi choose something that is giving two months free, yeah. you know, subscription. You choose something that is giving you free. So thank you so much. Hats off uh, yeah. uh, your work and everything. Very good. I yeah. really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. If if you can only go to the you know little, little bit you know you know Visual Studio little bit just you know I need yeah. to yeah uh, yeah so yeah so uh, and um, go to the structure uh, like solution yeah solution yeah let me see that yeah, yeah for sure so I I used uh, um, to place most of the things inside of the home controller mm -hmm. um, uh, these are the uh, home controller for. Uh, uh, for email, uh, all of the things, yeah. Oh, all of the, all of the things, sorry, yeah. Index the same grid, yeah. yeah. Email us is right here, and also, you know, for the charge for the uh, for the uh, stripe um, and stripe and, charge, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. register sync, mm -hmm. yeah, Good that's job. it. And Good I have job. one data, you know, I uh, have that I, I don't have too much um, that I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. And also, I have, you know, uh, I mentioned actually on the slide, I have like two of these uh, email uh, modules and then view modules. And uh, there are some views that are for the back end as well here. Uh, actually, I tried to see if I can go straight to the thank you for registering page without just doing by slash and then putting charge. It wasn't allowed me to go there. So that's a good thing. That means it's pretty secure. Somebody can go back there. Although there isn't really much back there. Awesome. Um, hopefully in the future I can implement the admin login and in that way uh, you can manipulate some things uh, to to uh, put on a website, you know, um, without having people interact like, you know, regular person coming and changing and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to implement, sure. you know, these features I mentioned here. Um, that's kind of, yeah. And, 
and you uh, you applied entity framework you use entity framework or you directly connect the database i uh, i connect them um, you connected okay awesome yeah awesome and yeah, you, I, you you did you publish uh, the project i was had? yeah i was trying to publish it um uh, but i wasn't uh, through because I, I no still problem. want to make tiny changes, but also I, I find a place to publish. So uh, uh, I sure. think it's a great place. Uh, the, my Windows uh, actually, Rabi gave me a suggestion for that. As Azure, we've tried before and it charges money and yeah, nobody really uses applications. So this is a good place for at least two months to kind of you know see. Uh, so as yeah. you're yeah, as you're actually you now uh, doing a very bad thing is actually I had a an instructor copy and everything. Okay. Yeah. And you remember that when I showed you the Azure things and I showed the next class, next next cohort, they charged me. Yeah. Okay. They charged me a lot. That. So yeah. um, you know, yeah, they charged me two times. So yeah. Yeah. I said that I right. just I just demonstrated uh, for, to my students. I did not have any personal business or any personal website. Okay. So why you are charging yeah. and everything? So you know that yeah. is actually a different story. Uh, so yeah, I think that uh, Rabi is uh, having a great, you know, subscription yeah. and everything uh, that can help. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm thinking to do that there. So yeah, I mean that's that's what I have. If anybody else has a question, it'll be yeah. I... So for example, if you have app, most of the systems have integrated apps that are almost all the time commercial free, but if you just want a website, they're all flooded with commercials. So uh, that was the idea. Uh, yeah. uh, project goals. Uh, as I said, creating a, a weather forecasting website without ads, it would be a safe place for people to check for weather without any tracking and selling their information to some other third party companies. Um, another thing I was actually able to accomplish is to provide data from two sources, because uh, depending where you, where that website gets their data from, it might be a little bit different. And you know, sometimes you just want to have another options to look at at the same place. And lastly, another goal is to create a user friendly and easy to use interface. Uh, for this project. Um, I use uh, technologies such as Node.js, Express.js, and some NPM packages for the backend. I used uh, HTML, CSS, EGS, Bootstrap, and Google Fonts for the front end. And I use two APIs, uh, Open Weather API. That's the one I showed in one of the presentations. And I was able to get the weather.gov API working which I find gives you better data. Uh, all in all, it is not as fancy as Open Weather API, but uh, I think the data itself is better. Um, some challenges I faced along the way. Uh, the biggest challenge was to finalize my uh, API selections. And it was hard to find APIs that give you at least something for free. Most of them want at least small amount monthly to be able to use it, even for testing. Uh, in the middle of the way, I updated my Node.js, so my all, all my API calls stopped working. I had to redo them through different functions. Uh, that was another challenge. And uh, lastly, trying to combine data into similar format from two different sources. And the way I approach this, my, my idea at first was to create uh, exactly the same interface that would just pull uh, data from different sources. But then I decided to do the same model, but pull a little different data to utilize, for example, one API has uh, the pressure and other has wind speed so by it looks the same but you get different values from different apis and 
I I think I accomplished that pretty well. For the hosting, it is a Node.js app, and uh, I found this cyclic. Uh, they give you a free tier version that lets you host uh, for free as long as there is not a lot of traffic. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just need to make sure you have it on your GitHub account and you give them access to that directory in your GitHub account. And that's all they need. Uh, I used uh, uh, .env for the API key. So it's not just visible there. And Cyclic was pretty smart about finding that my app needs uh, some values. And you just put it on their front end and uh, app, app works pretty well. I have some screenshots for the PowerPoint, but I'll also be able to go to the code and to the to the uh, actual website. This is how my front end looks. Uh, uh, I wanted to accomplish something simple, easy to use, uh, kind of like Google, just a simple search bar. You can enter a city name or a zip code and it will pull up the data. Uh, this is how the main page will look. Uh, you get your uh, today's data and you can see the forecast for the last couple of days. I utilized as much as I could from the from every API. Uh, and on the left side, you can see you can change the API. And so this is the data I'm pulling from weather.gov API. And this is just scroll down to the forecast from open weather, same from the uh, weather.gov. Uh, I also have uh, about us page. This is just a simple description of what this project is about. And it was part of the CSI 492. And lastly, I have a support this project tab that will take you to donate to my PayPal account. I didn't have any donation yet, but who knows? And I'll go right now to code probably. So this uh, this is the directory weather website. Uh, you can see I have FGS where this is where all my uh, JavaScript lives, all the API calls. I render page uh, for the weather. Uh, different. I, I render a different page for a different API because of that difference. Um, we have some views. Uh, this is for CSS and some node module. Now, if we go to this one, I have it running on a local host, so we can type. Seattle, uh, we can see the weather, uh, the forecast. And as you can see, the open weather API uh, gives you those uh, values. Uh, pressure is something that was nice to have, humidity. We can switch to weather.gov. And and now they have more data on wind and wind speed, wind direction, uh, humidity. Uh, the pictures, the icons are also provided by the uh, by the API. It's not something I came up with. And these pictures you can actually find on NOAA weather website because they use exactly the same API. Uh, here's the About Us page, support this project. And just to check if we put zip code. Yep, it still works. We get a camp weather. Yeah, for, oops, something went wrong there. Uh, this is the same thing, but you can see this is a hosted link. Uh, let's try the zip code here. So we get open weather API, weather.gov. Yeah, 
it works uh, on a hosted app. So yeah, that's that's all I was able to accomplish so far. There is there is a lot to do. My next big step would be to either have a big list of uh, major cities or have some kind of API to check because if you put a wrong city like a misspell uh, it would break uh, okay. you want to go or should I go <laughs> yeah I, I can go first mm -hmm. uh, so this project uh, I work with a brand so we work together um, then we needed to a uh, couple working use the github we use the GitHub to- Yeah, there's a the GitHub um, link down there. Yeah, there's GitHub link down here. And uh, our goal is uh, uh, we, we will um, function the online bookstore and um, have the uh, books and the movies and the uh, PDF. Like the um, the PDF is a, uh, which we can download on, on there in the movie we can watch um watch on our website yeah. yeah so yeah uh functionality we've uh what we got working is that we got uh customer accounts we've got a catalog and like purchasing system um we got like the checkout we got like a our own like custom payment system um we have like an administration account as well so you can go in and then like edit the books, edit the catalog if you want to update like books without having to take the whole website down, uh, rebuild it and everything. So, and we added like a PDF page and a movies page, like a uh, movies catalog. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, the <clears throat> the website framework we use the uh, 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 net, uh, uh, net asp.net mvc project um mvc so um the there have the model and the page and the controller um the page so we have the welcome page re registration page and the login page and the broader in um, browse inventory uh, page which is the books page and uh, uh, we have a shopping cart and uh, the shopping cart is uh, <clears throat> And the shopping cart, um, when we uh, when, when we add the books, uh, they will go to the shopping cart and the checkout page and the, the uh, payment page. And the um, additional page is the um, PDF page and movies page and the uh, admins page. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is our welcome page. And um, uh, so it should be a... Uh, we're also using like Azure as well, so you can try and click the link and it should work for you. Yeah, just try not to break anything, you know. But yeah, uh, this is what it'll look like um, when you click the link. I put it in chat. So yeah, you can try it right now if you want. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is our <laughs> website. Okay, mm -hmm. we can, do you want to show there or we go back? Uh, on the presentation. Okay. okay, on the presentation first. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so this is our um, books uh, page, um, which is the browser inventory. Um, that allow user to <clears throat> to uh, buy the book, to add the book to, to the card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is a PDF page. Um, it's a catalog, so you can like download, um, well, purchase and add them to your cart. And then um, when you're done purchasing, it, it should give you a download link. But this is our movie page. Um, the um, actually right now there is a trader, um, because some um, yeah. This, the if the big size they will have some loading program i think so yeah we'll go uh, into more detail uh, about it later but yeah okay uh, yeah <laughs> and the, 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 this is our shopping card there's the um quantity item and the price and the uh 
sub subtotal and the, the total. And the, if we don't want to, uh, we want to delete one, we can remove the page. Uh, when our uh, needed to, uh, uh, when, when, we, when we want back to the um, book, we want to add more book, we can go the continue shopping. And if we want to pay, we want to have uh, the um, shopping the book, we, we, can, uh, we can check out here. Oh, sorry. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is also our uh, checkout payment page. Um, yeah, so, um, it also has like a verification system. So if you try and like put in like um, letters into the um, expiration dates and the card numbers, it won't let you. So yeah, it has some verification as well. So that's pretty good, you know. This is the, um, yeah, th this is a continual page with the checkout. Um, there we uh, should put our address, name and the address. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and this is our um, login page. And um, uh, what we have is that you can log in. You can um, uh, also use, like, uh, we haven't set it up yet, um, but you uh, can also um, use another service. And you can also log in as an administrator. So that's for us. But yeah, you can also, from here, you can uh, register as well as a new user, which will be the next slide. Okay, this is a register page. Yeah, when we register, um, yeah, we can go 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 login. Mm -hmm. um, so um, when when they register, they will have the data on our um, our um, our data as <laughs> Secret Service database. It, um, well, a bunch of test accounts um, to make sure that the system works. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all of our test accounts. Yeah, you can try log if you want to like do it at home. You can try um on the website and try uh, registering it yourself if you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, our at the main page. Um, so. Um, when they go admin, it's a uh, um, it's go the admin dashboard. Um, <clears throat> the admin uh, the the panel had the um, we can um, um, we can have the book um, the books list and the PDF list and the um, movies list and the, we can um, update or de uh, delete or um, edited those uh, um, data, data, yeah. yeah so this the... is the, this is the book. So there we can go delete, uh, um, or we can see the detail or, and delete. And then there's a PDF, the list, uh, the same as the books. And this is the movie. Yeah, you can um edit the links. You can um add a new one. You can change the price if you want. So yeah, it's um pretty useful. So you don't have to um you know restart the database or anything. You just edit it there. So yeah, um, we've got um, well, it's a little bit difficult to show, but we got like um. Uh, two different databases, one for um, users, um, the user login information, and a different uh, database um, with its own tables for PDFs, books, and movies. So like, so then we don't store all of them in the one database. It's for like uh, added security reasons, you know, if one gets compromised, the other one isn't, you know, <laughs> and especially since user information is much more sensitive. But yeah, uh, it's separated, and we got um, price information, author information, stuff like that for them, um, for the catalogs and like user emails, usernames, that sort of stuff in the user database. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, there's, there's a, a sample of like the book uh, database as well. Uh, you can see like the links and everything. Oh, and the prices too. Yeah, this is our um, PDF state data. And uh, this is our movie data. Yep. And this is our user account data. Oh yeah, the password's encrypted as well, so you can't just like look up everyone's password. So that's a good security yeah, feature. This is a hash. Mm -hmm. So do we need to go to the um, website or our website? Uh, if you want to show it off, yeah. Uh, so this is our um, bookstore, the Super Bookstore um, uh, homepage. And then when we go there and they show the book list, um, they, have, they have a few books uh, we can select. Like when we see the editor card, and then they will have the, um, mm -hmm. the, the books on the card. We oh, I want to continue to shopping and the add one more book and then there go um and other books and go check out uh, and the, there is the, the um like i show the presentation the, the powerpoint uh, and there is the, the um um our we should put our address. And when they check out um, the virtual thank you page and uh, um, we'll let the customer know what's the books that they, 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 uh, they purchased. Um, yeah. So that's uh, the shopping cart. Mm -hmm. um, this is our PDFs page and the PDF page uh, <clears throat> shows here in the um, in the movies page. Yep. Yeah, we can like uh, uh, watch the the movie, but right now it's a trailer. Yeah, uh, it uses the YouTube embedding for that. Uh, Brian, you you want? Oh yeah, it uses um like uh YouTube embedded videos uh to display the trailers. So I do, the idea is like you could use the trailers and then um yeah, you could like download the full movie. Okay. Um so about the um the okay, let me do the um okay. Okay, test. Hmm? Oh. Uh, no, as register. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh some problem. Oh, it's the, oh, the, okay. oh, it's the database. <laughs> okay. If we use this one, it, the local host, it does work.
so when we go the um when the register that we we can see the, our um our data set here let me refresh this first and uh, go to see the Yeah, this one's here. So Yeah, a new account is created. Oh oh this one. This one. Yeah, the create just the created on here. Um and uh we can go back login is the new creator account. Okay, they're already here. Uh -huh. Oh, there. Uh, try the... This one. Okay. Uh, when uh, okay. they are going, they have the um the building name to show here, and the um um the uh the customer can um do some the management to, for them. And then when we go to uh, 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 log into administrator, um, and uh, we can see the we can see the um, admin, admin panel. panel, yeah, the book list, and then we can edit. Like uh, we can change the price. You can change the price to save and then uh, they do uh, change the price. Um, when we go back to the data, the, let me flash here. The data um, goes fresh. As, yeah, you can see the prices are changed. Yep. Um, okay, so this is a book list, and the, this is a PDF list, and the same function as the book. Uh, yeah. List. Yeah, and uh, this is a movie list. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. So uh, could you go back to the presentation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Um, do you want to do this or should I? <laughs> you, you, you turn. Okay. So yeah, um, we got uh, a lot of goals basically. Um, well, those things that are listed here is like live inventory tracking, customer purchase histories. Like when you log in, you can see what you previously bought. Um, some like refinements to like the logo and page design, which we kind of uh, did already. Um, kind of still working on parts of it though. Um, and we also want a mobile version. Well, looking forward to like a mobile version, and like um, we also want to do like external API usage. So like, yeah, uh, emails, uh, sending like an actual confirmation email, um, and logging in with like Google. Um, it, we also like um, like the uh, some of the other projects use like the AI, um, the AI customer service. So like a little chat box in the bottom corner, and we're also thinking about like a search bar as well. Um, some other things that um are not on the slide um uh so like with PDFs uh the intended idea was like you buy like you click it add it to the cart and buy it and then it'll generate um uh it'll it'll generate like a URL for you and then you can click and then download it from there um the best method to use this uh from what I've seen is um to use Azure Blobs which we did not implement um. 
<laughs> kind of because Azure is um, a little bit difficult to work with sometimes. Um, I just getting <laughs> just getting like uh, Azure to work period. Um, because they kept trying to make us like buy a subscription each time, and we finally found one that's free. I think like a student version that's free. I don't know because <laughs> just like trying to log in with Azure, yeah, it it keeps like glitching on me, and it tells me that I've got like credits to use, but then it tells me that I don't have credits. But in short, this works. Uh, try and we're going to try and put like more um use some of uh, Azure's functionality for Azure blobs. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, this is our um, Azure. So we work on, uh, we deploy our uh, website on the Azure. And, and yeah. We still need to like, um, it's cause like, uh, unfortunately you can't just like um, publish it and then have everything work immediately. You have to like adjust a bunch of things to work with Azure specifically. So we, we know need to go back and work some more on that too. But yeah, like um, if we had more time, I would definitely want to go um, try implement more of Microsoft Azure. At the same time though, some features you have to pay for them, so. I want to try and get him as much as I can get right into this project was just to uh, learn about separation of, uh, separation of concern and uh, business logic from data logic and the, this approach improved my code maintainability in this small project. And just keep in mind this is a very small project by the way. Uh, so the objective is just like I said, develop a small uh, e-commerce platform using MVC, implement an interface for customers to easily browse, uh, implement a secure payment gateway to facilitate online traction and uh, transactions without storing user data or credit card info. So to that end, later on, we'll see that I'm not storing any data uh, for the customer and I'm using a third party blogging for that or rather API calls. Okay. Uh, developer response project objectives, uh, developer response design accessible on desktop and mobile devices, uh, implement a secure PayPal card for users, implement a secure login for the admin. Uh, users aren't required to log in or anything like that. And then for the administrator, uh, implemented a small dashboard to allow admin to manage inventory. That's it, uh, where he can add and things of that nature. So my front page uh, has this uh, following functions. Uh, user is able to browse the inventory without logging in, uh, view book details just by clicking on a, any, rent, any one of these books. Uh, and then add books to the cart using PayPal uh, by just clicking on the add cart functions. Most of, uh, so the cart, like I say, is through PayPal. I originally planned to use uh, Stripe, but had had an issue incorporating a Stripe uh, to the project. So I went with PayPal and uh, by going with PayPal, I had to, uh, I had to sort of deviate a little bit from my original uh, uh, project proposal uh, by disconnecting most of my cart functions, uh, my cart code uh, from the front end and just going with PayPal. Uh, no data is secure, no data is uh, stored in the, in the <clears throat> on the website. User is able to edit the items in their cart through PayPal. No user info is stored. No logging is required. Customer data and purchase info is managed through PayPal itself. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to show you the actual uh, click on purchase something and then go to through the sandbox to PayPal account. But that's how it works. The cart works uh, in a similar manner uh, on the back end. And most of the order management functions I found actually PayPal that's a lot better that was doing a lot better than my code because they had automated emails they had uh, 
uh, refund uh, functions to refund the, the customer and things of that nature. So it would look like this, something like this, the card looks something like this. So the Martians, the Martians, this book right here, uh, 2450. Uh, so there you go. The Martians is there, 2450. And then you can either in, increment to whatever, uh, however many books you want, or you can just remove it. And then you'll be able to just go back to the main store. It's back, it's linked back to the front page, keep shopping, or just check out to PayPal uh, using either a PayPal account or your own credit card or whatever uh, is convenient. So the dashboard is a small admin dashboard. It doesn't have a lot of functions. Uh, it only has functions regarding the books, not the uh, not the transactions or the customer admin, because I didn't want to store the data on the website. So most of that is taken care of by PayPal uh, customer management dashboard, which is which you can customize it. Uh, so here. The admin is able to create a new book, edit an existing book, view details of, of a particular book, delete existing book from inventory. Okay. Uh, and here are some of the, uh, some of those particular functions we saw. So the, the delete one, well, the delete one is just a, it's just a giant button, but it'll give you a notification uh, confirming whether you deleted, I believe. So just to go back to the code on the C sharp. <clears throat> One of my main objectives was just to uh, brush up on the MV MVC framework itself. And then uh, my other objective